Hey everyone, this is Cody, and today on Astro Blender, I'm going to be reviewing a brand new filter from Optolong. This is the L-Extreme for F2 telescopes. Now, if you're not familiar with the Optolong L Extreme, it is a dual narrowband filter, so it passes the hydrogen alpha band as well as the oxygen 3 band. Now, both of these bands are passed at 7 nanometers at the full width half maximum. So, this, these filters work really good for areas that have a lot of light pollution. They still pull in the hydrogen alpha data, they still pull in the O3 data or the doubly ionized oxygen. Now, the F2 version of this filter is the same, it still is 7 nanometers at the full width half maximum of those bands. So the only difference really is this one is pre-shifted, so it works best at high speed. Now the story of how this filter fell into my hands is a little bit interesting. So a few weeks ago, Optolong reached out to me through Instagram messaging and said, hey, over the past few months, we've had a lot of people reach out and want a high speed version of the Yell Extreme, but we didn't have a lot of research on it. So they, you know, basically they went ahead and did research and found my YouTube video on testing the L Extreme at high speeds. Now, if you've seen that video, and I'll, I'll link it, but if you've seen that video, you know it was a little bit controversial. However, I presented real data and real results, and Optolong agreed. They found that the video was well presented and everything made sense, and so they said, you know what? We do need to make a high-speed version of the L Extreme and invited me to test it for them. So thanks, Optolong. I'm grateful for the opportunity. It'll be fun. That being said, I also told them, though, I'm always honest in my reviews, always. I don't sugarcoat anything. So I let them know, if they send me, send me one of these, I'm going to present the results exactly as I see them. And they were totally fine with that, totally agreed, so awesome job Optolong. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the same exposures that I did with the L Extreme and compare them, as well as some additional images with brighter stars, like the Horsehead Nebula, so we can test the L Extreme F2 and see if it suffers from the same haloing effects that the original L Extreme does. So for this video, that's pretty much the majority of talking I'm going to do. I'm going to let the data speak for itself. We'll get to it. All right, here we go. Time to slew over to our first target, the Western Veil Nebula. Now while my auto guider is calibrating, I thought I'd give you an idea of my plan here. So I'm gonna be shooting six objects tonight. The Western Veil vale Nebula, the Elephant's Trunk Nebula, the Pac-Man Nebula, the Heart Nebula, then I'm gonna slew over to Orion and shoot the Orion Nebula and the Horsehead Nebula. So a myriad of objects here. And the nice thing, this is an F2 system. It's darker now, so I'm gonna try and shoot for about 11 hours of data tonight, starting at 6 p.m. I'm gonna try and shoot till about five in the morning. And so I'm gonna grab two hours of data basically on every target, except the Western Veil Nebula. I'm gonna only shoot an hour on that one. So uh, hopefully everything pans out. Again, at F2, should be able to gather all the data I need to evaluate the stars, as well as the filter itself and see how it does. So here we go. All right, so my first exposure is almost done here. There's always a little bit of anxiety and excitement that comes along with testing a new filter. So here we go. Five seconds, this is two minutes, and I should correct myself, I said Western Veil vale earlier. This is actually the Eastern Veil vale Nebula. So here we go. Settling, all right, it's downloading. Cross my fingers. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Much, much, much better than the typical L Extreme. I'm not sure why it's not centered, but I don't even care. That is incredible. Two minutes of data. I can't even imagine what five minutes pulls out. Dang. <laughs> I'm impressed. That is, that's a lot of color. Sweet. Well, it passed test number one, so we'll just keep going here and see how it does throughout the whole night. Analyze the results, and honestly, I'm, I'm pretty shocked right now. For two minutes, that's, that's more of what I expected out of the L Extreme, so... Optolong looks like they did a good job so far.
Now for night two, rather than focus on imaging several targets, I'm going to focus on integration time. So tonight I'm going to image NGC 7380, which is the Wizard Nebula. I've never imaged this before, so this should be interesting, but I'm also to see how this filter does with a lot of integration time. Now that said, you may have noticed some of the images that I showed from night one have halos around the stars, which is unfortunate because that's what the original L Extreme suffers from. So I was hoping that they would fix that for the L Extreme F2, but that doesn't appear to be the case. But we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. But yeah, so let's go ahead and slew over to the Wizard Nebula and uh, begin night two. Now by this point you should have a pretty good idea of what this filter can do. So for night three I thought it'd be fun to shoot the bubble nebula and the spider nebula just to give you more of an idea of what you can expect performance wise out of this filter. Now let's briefly discuss the results that I had using this filter and you can see they were pretty good, especially the transmission. Now, the normal version of the L-Extreme at high speed, I was basically getting no data coming through at all. It was pretty disappointing. The L-Extreme F2 obviously solves that problem. Transmission of the hydrogen alpha and the oxygen three bands is coming right through the filter, making a really nice pretty image. The other thing I was very impressed with is the contrast that this filter provides, and I really attribute that to these 7 nanometer band passes at the full width half maximum. So basically, the background and the object have a nice separation, you can see the difference between them. So again, good contrast through this filter. Now where it needs a little bit of work is in star halos. So 52 Cygni in the, in the Western Veil Nebula image that didn't really see anything that was, you know, too bad. But then, the mother of all tests, all in the talk, in the Horsehead Nebula, that's really where you want to test for star halos, and that one gave a big star halo. So Optolong actually has been reaching out to me, asking me, hey, have you been seeing any star halos? So I sent them that image, they confirmed they got it, and the good news is, this is still a prototype, it is not on the market yet, so they're still working on perfecting it. So if they can get this, like the IDAS NBZ Ultra High Speed, where you don't get any star halos and you're getting all that transmission of those wavelengths, it'll be an awesome filter for high-speed telescope users like me. So really great transmission, great on contrast, needs a little bit of work on star halos, but besides that, excellent job from Optolong. This is way better than the normal L Extreme at F2, like it's not even close, polar opposites. So yeah, great filter here. Uh, thanks Optolong for letting me take a look at it and, and review it.